Hi guys, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to talk about our top five cell phones of June 2019. We made this video last month. Mm -hmm. um, since then a few new phones have been released. We've changed up our rankings a little bit. So let's start with the OnePlus 7 Pro. It's a pretty good phone. It was just released on May 21st, so you could actually be the first person you know to own this phone, which is pretty cool. Uh, some highlights of this phone are the six and a half inch OLED display, the 4,000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. For comparison, the iPhone XR has a 2,942 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it supports faster charging. What's it called on the website? It's called Warp Charge 30. And it takes 20 minutes to actually do that. So we don't know if the 30 is for 30% or if they just screwed something up. We're pretty sure the 30 stands for 30%. But it does support fast charging, which is cool. It has a rear triple camera. And it has a few different RAM gigabyte variants. Uh, 6, 8, and 12 gigabytes of RAM. And it's a pretty decently priced phone. Starts at $699 for the lower RAM phones. And it goes up to the $749 range. Number four, we're going to talk about the iPhone XS Max. This is really the top of the line iPhone. Um, biggest display, large storage capacities, up to 512 gigabytes, supports dual SIM, takes amazing photographs. If the budget isn't a concern to you, uh, iPhone XS Max is probably the iPhone you want to go with. Mm -hmm. On Upphone, you can compare the pricing across every carrier that offers the iPhone XS Max at 256 gigabytes and 512, mm -hmm. which are the sizes and get the best deal. So yeah. check out upphone.com yeah. for that. One major drawback here is it's a really expensive phone. You yeah, know, that's kind of the it's gonna It's gonna burn a $1,000 hole in your wallet. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes when you switch though, you can get a great deal from a carrier. They want you to switch to their carrier. Mm -hmm. um, they'll give you like, hey, we'll give you half off a new iPhone 10 S right, Max. Right. And before you do that, hold on until we get to number one. In this oh list. yeah, wait, Definitely. wait till we wait till we finish the list. Mm -hmm. So coming in at number three is the Samsung Galaxy S10. Last week we had this at two. So let's just talk about some of the highlights real quick. It has the rear triple camera, 6.1 inch AM OLED display, lots of storage space, eight gigabytes of RAM and a 3400 milliamp hour battery. Mm -hmm. Big battery, lots of RAM. All good stuff. It's the 10s Max of the Android world. Yeah. Or the S10, we said, right? Yeah. So it's the 10s of the yeah. Android world. So some of the drawbacks here, again, this is a pretty expensive cell phone, um, especially if you want the 512 gigabyte variant. That adds $250 on your price tag if you buy from Samsung directly. Mm -hmm. um, we actually think the next phone on our list is the best Android, so that's why it it's a, this, that's a con here too, and we actually moved the next Android into number two. Mm -hmm. And that Android is the brand new Google Pixel 3a XL, uh, released on May 8th. So this is also a pretty brand new phone. Um, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. If I was an Android user, this is the phone that I would buy. Mm -hmm. Some of the highlights here, only it starts at only $479. So that's like half the price of a Samsung Galaxy S10 right there. Mm -hmm. um, dual rear 12 megapixel cameras with night sight. You've seen those ads uh, where they compare the iPhone XS to the Google Pixel 3a uh, with the camera quality in a dark room. It's pretty, pretty staggering. Six inch OLED display and a 3700 milliamp hour battery. It's a great phone, especially for an affordable price. What I like about Google is that they have positioned themselves as the Apple of the Android world mm -hmm. in that they don't care as much about the just the numbers of the specs. They actually put their energy into the quality of the camera, for yep. instance. So it might not have a 48 megapixel camera, mm -hmm. but I am telling you, when we get a chance to, we'll put a 48 megapixel image in the dark versus this phone. Yeah. This phone is going to look a lot better. Yes, it is. Uh, last week we mentioned, or last year, last month we mentioned the Essential Phone mm -hmm. as like our budget Android. Yep. I mean, this is this is the new budget Android, and it's a significantly better phone than the Essential Phone in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, some other, some drawbacks here: only four gigabytes of RAM. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're an Android user, we know Android users like their high RAM capacities. So. Yeah. It's interesting because our number four phone had up to 12. Yep. Or was that number five? Our number five phone. Number five, yeah. The OnePlus had up to 12 gigabytes of RAM, which felt way too high for me. The mm -hmm. four for an Android phone feels a little low. Yeah, uh, 64 gigabytes of storage space is kind of on the lower end for newer smartphones, but it's still a lot of storage space. It is. It's still a ton. Uh, you can only buy directly from four carriers. It's Google Fi, mm -hmm. Verizon, Sprint, and T-Mobile. Mm -hmm. um, but you can go into uh, Google's website and just buy an unlocked phone and take it to whatever carrier you want. Mm -hmm. So and with the low price tag, that's actually kind of a viable option. Yeah, that might actually be the option to do. It's like, you know, mm -hmm. go and buy the unlocked phone from Google and take it to whatever carrier you want. Yeah. 
It's a great, yeah, it's a great deal. Great, great phone. Yep. Great phone. Uh, once again, our number one top phone is the iPhone XR. And I just want to mention real quick in our last month's video, we had the iPhone 8 as a budget iPhone. And I was checking out Apple's comparison for prices. And the difference between an iPhone 8 and an iPhone XR really isn't that significant. Mm -hmm. So you get a better phone in the iPhone XR for roughly the same price. It's slightly more expensive. Mm -hmm. um, but it, the XR is really positioned as the really good iPhone at a budget price. And carriers are offering this, I think, as you said, at awesome deals. Yep. There is a Sprint Unlimited plan right now that is $25 a line for five lines. Yes, that $25 a month a line for, mm -hmm. up, to five for up to five lines. And with their deal on the iPhone XR, you can get five new iPhone XRs and five lines of unlimited data talk text for $180 a month with the phones. That's crazy. So it sounds crazy, but it's really Yeah, we'll actually deal. link to that deal in a card above in the description section below. So those are our top five phones of June 2019. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite was. Uh, if you disagree with us, leave a comment. Let us know. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome phone videos.